What's up guys, Coach Andy here from Assist Athletics and with my son Aiden. We're gonna put you through a, a little workout here. What we're gonna do is concentrate on footwork. This one's gonna be pretty quick. Focusing on our footwork, which is critical in all sports. We're gonna be using a soccer ball for this one, but it isn't necessarily just for soccer players. Any sport you play, footwork is critical. All right, let's go. Things you're gonna need here are a soccer ball and a space approximately five feet by five feet wide. Now. We just grabbed some uh, golf balls because they were handy, kicked them into the ground, and uh, made four corners here. You need four corners. You don't have to use golf balls, though. You can use discs. You can use spots. Uh, you can use rags, anything. Aiden's going to go ahead and get started while I tell you about this workout. Like I said, it's all footwork. So some activities, we're going to have a ball. Some we're not. We're going to have a couple challenges in there. So everybody get moving. Aiden, start jogging in place for us. We're gonna be doing moves for approximately 30 seconds each. And our first one is gonna be jumping jacks. Aiden, go ahead and kick that ball out of the way because we don't need it right now. Demonstrate a good jumping jack for everybody. Start in the pencil position, move to star, back to pencil, back to star, back to pencil. And we're gonna get started for 30 seconds. Ready, set, begin. All right, so just warming up right now getting loose, getting ready. This is a pretty good workout, even though it's quick. Um, Aiden, by the way, is in sixth grade. I know a lot of my uh, viewers here will probably be a little bit younger. Don't worry if you're not quite keeping up with him. Just try your best. 10 seconds to go here. And pause. All right, our next exercise we're gonna do right here is a squat. Let's demonstrate how I want you to do that squat. So Aiden, go ahead and let your hands hang right in front of your waist. Go ahead and bend at the knees until your fingers hit the ground and then come back up. One more time, bend, hit the ground, come back up. Let's show him what not to do. We don't want you to bend over at the waist. Don't bend this way to touch the ground because see how his knees didn't bend. We want you to bend at the knees. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of squats at your pace. Get ready, get set, begin. Just concentrate on your form, a good bend, and then come right back up. We're not going to try to rush through these or go too fast. There we go. Aiden made a little adjustment with his feet, got them a little closer together. You can widen them out a little. That's good. A little more than shoulder width apart is good on these squats. Got about five seconds to go here. Three, two, one. Good, we're gonna move to a lunge. Come over here to the right side of our box, Aiden. All right, so let's show them a good lunge real quick. Left foot forward. Go ahead and do that lunge with the left foot. Pause right there. You'll notice his knee is close to the ground. That front left leg is parallel to the ground. Come on up and then step with your right foot. Very good, nice job. We're gonna set the clock for 30 seconds and do these. Ready. Get set, begin. Lunging for 30 seconds. You're gonna cover your area. All right, we designed this activity so that you can do it in any small space. That could be a spot in your room, uh, in your house, that could be your bedroom. We've got a little area outdoors here at our place that we're using. But the idea is you don't need a whole lot of space to get a good workout. A few more, bud. Give me two more going back the other way. Concentrate on these. Make them count. Last one. Nice job, good work. All right, now, moving forward, we are gonna need a ball for these next activities, so go ahead and grab your soccer ball. First move we're gonna do is a ball jump. There's a couple ways to do it. You can do a leap, which means you jump off of one foot and land on the other foot. Go ahead and show them a leap. All right, and that's probably the best way for some of my younger viewers to do it, because it's safest. The other one, though, that Aiden, gonna, Aiden is going to do is a two-footed jump where he's going to start on two feet and land on two feet and try to get those knees up and do a big jump, okay? So we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get ready to go. Aiden, get ready. Get set. Begin. Now, how many can you do in 30 seconds? That is the challenge. We're going to have a couple of challenges in these videos, so Aiden is counting, hopefully, while he's doing these jumps, and how many times can he get over the ball in 30 seconds? This is a burner. Remember, you can leap if it's easier. 
Aiden's jumping. He's got four, three, two, one, stop. There you go. How many did you get? 16. 16. All right, nice job. Okay, we are going to keep this ball right here. He's taking a little breather. You can get water anytime you need to. We're going to move on to our toe touch challenge right now. Aiden, can you demonstrate a toe touch for everybody? So just gently touching the top of the ball, trying not to let that ball move too much. So 30 seconds on the toe touch challenge. Take a break, Aiden. I'm going to start the clock, and you're going to count. It's hard to keep track when your feet are moving quick, but do your best to count. We're going to begin in three, two, one, go. I don't want to say too much because I might, might mess up his counting. More than halfway done. You got 10 seconds to go. Burn him out. And stop. How many was that? 80. 80 toe touches in 30 seconds. That's pretty impressive. Can you beat that? Aiden just set the bar for you. You might get more. You might get less. But that was perfect. Great job, buddy. All right, now, moving on. We got another challenge for you. This is our bell touches challenge. Go ahead and show them what bell touches look like. Bell touches are just passing the ball from left foot to right foot. Here we go. We ready to start the clock on the bell challenge, Aiden? Pause so we can start the clock. All right, we ready? We're going to get going in three, two, one. Begin. Got to count those bells. Now, if I were doing this, I would definitely make a mistake trying to go as fast as I can for 30 seconds. Aiden has better footwork than me, so he's probably not going to lose control of his ball. But you might. And if you do, which I definitely would, go ahead and just grab your ball, bring it back to the center of your circle, and begin. Don't worry if you use your hands for this one if you need to go grab your ball. Four, three, two, one. What'd you get? 82. 82 bells, nice job. So there you go, there's another challenge for you to try to beat Aiden with the bell challenge. All right, we're gonna move on and keep it moving to the corner drill. So we've got four corners, as you should have four corners. For this drill, Aiden's demonstrating right now, you're just gonna keep moving from corner to corner, any corner you want. You don't have to have a certain pattern. You can do a pattern if you want but he's just kind of freestyling and going from corner to corner. All right, so I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock, Aiden, get ready, get set, begin. All right, so every time he gets to a corner, he's putting his foot on top of that ball to get control, and he's pausing just for a second to make sure he's got it before he moves to the next spot. There we go, so that foot on top of the ball is the main move here, that's how we control, stop, change direction, Looking good. Got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Stop right there. Nice job. All right, last but not least, final move. This one is gonna be our freestyle, okay? So for this move, or for this exercise, we're gonna go for one minute, and I'm gonna tell Aiden what to do. I might say ball jumps. I might say bells. I might say toe touches, or I might say corners, and he's got to move from corner to corner, okay? So he's got to listen to me. He's got to change up based on what I say. Are you ready to go? Let's do this. All right, here we go. Going to start the clock in three, two, one, go. All right, toe touches. Oh. Ball jumps. Corners. Bells, toe touch, bell, toe touch, corner, toe touch, ball jump, corner, You got five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Nice job. Thank you, Aiden. How do you feel? 
Good. Yeah? Good exercise. Yep. All right, now, guys, you can do this video anytime you want. Come back to it. Try to get better and better. Keep, check, keep track of those challenges. Uh, see if you can beat your score from one time to the next and just have fun with it. All right, guys, take care. Check back. Assistathletics.com, at assistathletics on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We'll keep posting more videos. We'll see you soon. Take care.